Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And uh, yesterday was like a weird day. I hit a parlay. I hit all my major bets, but my weaker bets kind of took away the profits a little bit. But uh, that's okay. We were still up a little bit. We're going to take a look at it in a second, and we'll look at our picks that I gave you as well. Um, I'm going to give you free picks for Friday and for Saturday. These are early picks, so you can take a look at it and hopefully be able to help you out. Hit that subscribe button if you could. That helps out a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm trying to hit a G. Trying to hit a G. It's big for a YouTuber to hit a thousand. So hit her up. I'm Perlo Wisdom, by the way. That's what I call a Perlo dance. And that's what I call the frolic. There will be frolic. So even if we lose, which we don't do very often, there is frolic. Frolic in the land. Okay. Um, the NHL Pearl of Wisdom Show. You can come and talk about these picks or whatever you want to talk about about hockey. We talk everything hockey. Three to five Eastern weekdays. Get on there. I'd love to have you. Tell me that you tell me tell them Perlo sent you. And well, if you do subscribe, Helen, you got those pearls of wisdom necklaces already there. She's been knitting them up all night. Oh my gosh, she's pretty good for a ninety-year-old. Three o'clock in the morning knitting up pearls of wisdom necklaces for you. She's gonna send them off with Hernandez and Melissa, and you're gonna get them pearlocoptered right to your door for subscribing to the channel. Yeah, this is all part. Um, so, anyways, come see it. We are going to now take a look at the picks from last night. We're going to do all the games. So, it goes a little long sometimes, but that's okay. You want to get all the info, right? Here we go. Uh, Red Wings versus Bruins. We had that all day. Nailed it. I had uh, five five units on that. Uh, that was a, That was a pretty easy one. Uh, this one surprised me. I really thought Tampa Bay was going to take that game. The Maple Leafs came back and tied it up. Did not have that. Islanders versus Canadians. We got that big time, but we didn't get the under. But the biggest uh, bet we had was on the Islanders' five units. Golden Knights versus the Senators. I didn't play the line here. Um, actually, did I play anything? Oh, I played a little thing on a possible tie. That didn't happen. Panthers, we got that. That was a fairly big bet. See, we did well that way. That was part of the, uh, and, and the parlay was the Islanders, the uh, Bruins, and we'll go down as we go down here. Flyers PL, which we got, but we also had a little on the Flyers to win, and they couldn't pull it out in OT. This Penguins team, I can they kill me every time. You look at their lineup and go, they, they how can they win? But they do. It's crazy. Uh, we had the Flames, and uh, the Dallas Stars ended up pulling that out. That actually ruined a big parlay for one of my members. Also, if you are a member, you can become a member by going 780-690-1995. That's 780-690-1995. I'll put it in the title. Uh, they won last night. We had the Islanders as a pick. Uh, we didn't hit our parlay, but we did hit our pick. So you put lots on the pick, little on the parlay, and if you hit them both, great. If you don't hit either one, you pay nothing. If you only pay for a pick and you miss it, you pay nothing. You only pay if you win. You see? That's the way I like to do it. We had the Kraken, uh, just a little bit on the Kraken. That was one of our little bets that actually came in. We had a pretty good size one on the over here with the Blues and Sharks, but we also had the Sharks. So you see, take a little, give a little, take a little. Uh, but for the most part, with, with the parlay, we were up just a little bit, which is all you want, right? Got to be up every day. Not the best day in the world, but not a horrible day at the same time. Okay, let's look at our picks for tonight, Friday, November 5th. Winnipeg versus Chicago. Shifley is back. Problem is, they're not going to have Hollabuck in that. They're going to have Comrie, it looks like. Uh, Winnipeg is, that is. And Chicago is going to have Flurry. I think Chicago is going to, or Chicago's going to get, make a game of this. But with Shifley back in that lineup, having the depth that they do, 
I think Winnipeg ends up taking it. I'm going to take Winnipeg. Uh, Rangers versus Edmonton. Rangers are, I believe, on a... No, they're not. Are they on a back-to-back? Yes, they played against Vancouver last night. So let me get just make sure that's correct. Did they play against Vancouver last night? No, they did not. Sorry, they're not on a back-to-back. So Shesterkin should be in. That's the only problem I see for Edmonton here. Shesterkin is going, oh, but they're flying. They're flying. And Edmonton could have Skinner in at their backup. So it makes it a lot tighter. They always got to do that to you, right? If they got if they got Koskinen in tonight, they're probably good for sure, for sure. But I'm still going to go with Edmonton, but I'm only going to do it on the money line. Arizona versus Anaheim. This one is actually a lot tougher than you think. Arizona has been playing a pretty decent team game. They're driven to get off the schneid. Anaheim, though, is also pretty pretty driven. Let's we'll take a look here at the let's take a look at the uh, yeah uh, we got they're four four and three so they they don't want to go below five hundred right it's uh, they're playing hard they're playing for each other I like the way they're playing I don't think. They're going to take Arizona lightly here. Um, so I'm going to go Anaheim, but I'm not going heavy on that. Arizona's playing the type of game that can surprise teams. And Anaheim's got a fairly young team, and a lot of their veterans are out. Raquel is out, injured. Um, so Silverberg is injured. So young players sometimes have a tendency to under to come in all cocky on games like this. But I'm still going to go Anaheim on the money line. Uh, Nashville versus Vancouver. Nashville's on a back-to-back. Uh, that is for sure. Now, that's right. They're on a back-to-back. With Saros in last night. Let's take a good look at that. See, that's why I do these. Helps me out with my picks. Um, yeah, Saros in last night. Wait, they're not on a back-to-back. I thought they played last night. So Saros will be in. Oh, no. It's three games in four nights. That's what it is. Three games in four nights for Nashville. In a Western road trip where you have, uh, they went to Edmonton, uh, Calgary, and they won in Calgary and played a tough game. I think they should be a little tired here. They're gritty as heck. Vancouver looked good, but they were against the Rangers. And uh, I, the Rangers' defense is, is kind of in shambles right now. So because it's three games in four nights, I'm forced to go with Vancouver here. But to tell you the honest truth, I'm not 100% confident. I'm still going to go with Vancouver on the money line at home against Nashville. with Dem- it's Surely there's got to be Demko in that. So... He evens up the Saros situation pretty well because Saros is playing awesome. New Jersey versus Los Angeles. The big thing here, I was thinking New Jersey because I like the 2.10, you know, but Hamilton is out. Hamilton seems to be the straw that uh, stirs the drink there in New Jersey. Now, Blackwood apparently is going to be playing tonight, which is going to make it difficult on Los Angeles. Um, they're not going to have the lucky, they're not going to be fortunate enough to have Wedgwood in there and they'll have Peterson who has been a bit shaky. However, I like the way Los Angeles has been progressing and let's look at their matchup here. So might as well. Look at all oh, the computer has LA winning. Um, we got. Walker, Arvidsson might be back. If Arvidsson's back, I really like this a lot better. Uh, I don't really like their lineup without him in it as much. That's for sure. Um, Velarde even could be back. If both of them are back, I'm all over LA. So I'll probably hold out and see if you can find any more confirmation on that. But I'm still going to go LA with New Jersey not having Hamilton in the lineup. I think that they can expose a defense that 
hasn't been gelling well even still. They got a ways to go yet. Uh, so I'm going to take Los Angeles. Now I'm going to go into Saturday's games as well because I don't do videos on Saturdays. I do things when I feel like at o'clock, and I just don't feel like it on Saturdays. So, but they're free. So I'm going to give you free. I do do picks on Saturdays though. If you go over to Patreon, search for B Pal Picks, you can be part of that frolic. Or 780-690-1995. Message me there. We'll work out a system where I can give you picks. You get uh, for a parlay and a pick, you get it's twenty dollars. For just a pick, it's ten. Okay. Uh, you get you pay the pick. If you don't hit. You don't pay. If I, I think I just might have made a mistake and said five and ten, but it's ten and twenty. It just went up. I'm getting so many people that I got to raise her up a little bit. It's it's uh, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of fun, but uh, it's still work. So I got to raise it up a little bit. Now, if you don't hit, you don't pay. Tampa Bay versus Ottawa. I think you got to go Tampa Bay here after losing to Toronto. Uh, they should be fairly driven and not uh, underestimating Ottawa. Ottawa just doesn't seem, ever since Kachuk, Kachuk came back, something seems amiss there in Ottawa. Gotta say, gotta say. Uh, Carolina versus Florida. This is a pick 'em. Uh, Florida's got, just had a bunch of injuries. I'm going to go Carolina here. They're, they're less injured. They, they're playing a meticulous mechanical system. And uh, I, I think this will be 10 in a row for them, too. But I'm going to go Carolina. Since it's a coin flip, you might as well go with the, the dog money if you're going to play it. So going Carolina. Winnipeg versus the Islanders. And as we saw, the Win Winnipeg will be uh, played last night. Now, Hollabuck is out, and they're playing Comrie. So who the heck is going to be in net? Watch out for that. Um I love the way the Islanders are playing right now. I think that they'll pull this one off, especially if Winnipeg is using a goaltender that they normally wouldn't use. Let's take a quick look here. Who would they put in that? Burden. Ferdin. Ferdin has did okay in the AHL. He, he had one really good year. Uh, was it two years ago, I believe? Yeah, not bad. No, it was last year. But it was only six games. So they're not stellar numbers. And he is a rookie. So going up against an Islanders team, if you, if they're going to play Berdeen, I think that's going to be a pretty difficult uh, matchup for, for Berdeen. So I'm going to go with the Islanders on that one. Detroit Buffalo. Now Buffalo has sort of fallen off. This is they just cut this will be their first game back off a long road trip. Detroit will have Bertuzzi in the lineup because this is not a Canadian team, and we know that Bertuzzi can't play in Canada, so he'll be well-rested. And this team, team seems to be totally different with Bertuzzi in the lineup. So I'm going to lean Detroit here because um, the first game back off a long road trip, and this is a young team. They have a tendency to like to get home and, Kind of get their mind off of what they're here to do and stuff like that. So I'm going to take Detroit. Colorado versus Columbus. Um, I believe Columbus won the last time 5-4. Uh, Colorado had their back up in net at that time. Now Kemper should be back. Why did they have their back up in there? It wasn't because he was injured, was he? Let's take a look. Just to make sure. Yeah, it wasn't because he was injured. But look at all the people they have out. A car is out indefinitely. Uh, Kout got injured. Wow. Taves is up. So Taves will be back. That's cool. Rantanen will be back. Okay. Uh, I, I think this is a revenge game. And Kemper should be in net. I got to go with Colorado here. So we'll go with Colorado. Uh, Montreal versus Vegas. Vegas got a big boost when they found out Eichel was in. And uh, I really should have played that more. I said it in my live stream, but then didn't put it in my pick. So what's the point of that? 
I think that's going to continue flowing here. Now that they know that Eichel is in there, they are feeling like we're going to go for a cup here. There's going to be some heavy energy in that. Uh, so I'm going to go with Vegas. We will see who they put in net. Montreal, Allen has been struggling for Montreal. They may decide to give Laner a break here, but I'm still going with Vegas. Um, especially for that, no, you're not giving up hardly any juice there. Holy smokes, 187, yeah. I know they got a lot of injuries, but uh, Pittsburgh versus Minnesota, I'll tell you, this this Pittsburgh team, I'm probably fading them. I just they they keep on winning when there's no real reason why they should. Uh, Minnesota has Zuccarello out. He doesn't look like he's back. Oh, Golgoski will be back. That helps a lot. Um, Crosby may be there for Minnesota. Not sure. Uh, Demelin is out in definitely like their line. Oh, wait, Demelin might be back for Minnesota. If those guys, if Crosby, Demelin are back, I'm probably just going to go Pittsburgh because... I'm probably just going to – I like this Minnesota team, but I'm probably going to go Pittsburgh simply because they burn me every time when you look at their lineup and go they shouldn't win, and they always do. Toronto versus Boston. Toronto is coming off of a, uh, a win off of Tampa Bay, a good defensive win, which you don't hear too often. Uh, Boston looked exceptionally good against Detroit, but it was Detroit, and it's in Toronto. Man, that's a tough game. That is a tough game to pick. Uh, Boston's depth is taking a hit. Uh, Injury-wise, I believe, you know, they have Felino out, and Mackay and Toronto's fairly healthy as well. I'm going to take Toronto at home. I don't even know why. Uh, Allmark could be in. That's going to be a tough game. I'm pretty much fady on that game, but i got to give you a pick, so I'm going to do it. Uh, Washington versus Philadelphia. Philadelphia should have had that game at Pittsburgh. And Washington is playing with a lot of jump, a lot of offensive jump, and they're extremely tough at home. I'm going to go Washington on that game. Uh, Seattle versus Arizona. Arizona will be on a back-to-back -back here. Um, and Seattle... This is, and they just went on a long road trip. It's got to be Seattle here. It's got to be. We'll take Seattle and, uh, yeah, we'll take Seattle on that one. Rangers versus Calgary. Uh, Calgary, Rangers play, to play against Edmonton. Calgary is going to be very unhappy that they lost that game in Dallas. I think Calgary will take that one. Uh, New Jersey versus San Jose. Um, I thought San Jose was going to be good in Buffalo. It seems like their roster is starting to real come down to earth a little bit. But I mean, New Jersey's on a back-to-back. -back and, uh, wow, this is tough for New Jersey. What a tough uh, schedule right now for New Jersey. I think I think I got to go San Jose. A lot of home teams there. A lot of home teams. So that's my full 42, boys and girls. That's all I have to give to you today. Um, take those picks. Tell me down in the comments section what you're playing, what you're doing. If you agree, disagree, I love chatting with you. I'll always answer down there in the comment section. Look at that. That's the universal meaning for I'll answer you. Uh, and uh, come into my live stream, man. 3 to 5 Eastern weekdays. It's a lot of fun. 780-690-1995. You notice I didn't give you totals there. You'll get totals. You'll get parlays. You'll get whatever, all of those things for $20 for uh, for the day and $5 or $10. Sorry, I just upped it. I keep on forgetting. $10 for just a pick and you only pay if you win. That's my full 42. Have a great day, everybody. Okay, bye.